Oop. Oh my god, I'm so fucking car sick. I just took two Dramamine. That's to go with a cape, I think. That's to go. Why does... So, we drive all this way. Watch out this city there. We go to the cape. We go near the cape, right? Why is this exit for the cape? It doesn't make sense, right? Yeah, So weird. I guarantee most of this traffic is like that people coming down the end trying to work over there. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just want to see what the tunnel looks like. Where we go to read the sign. Da -da -da -da. There it is. <laughs> this is the traffic. This is 95, I think. 93. 93, we're getting on 93? Yeah. No, what we're getting on? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so car sick, dude. I'm about to lay down. Say, fuck it. I can't stand this. I hate that I get so car sick. Look at this, you guys. This is when you know you've hit rock bottom. <laughs> That's the, the rocks for the Quincy Quarrel kid. I used to fucking, fucking jump off that shit when I was like, fuck, well, dude. <laughs> I didn't, but, you know, it sounded Boston. Oh, you yeah, know, do it. That guy that day, he made my whole fucking week. Use your fucking blinker, kid. Dude. Nice fucking blinker, dude. Well, you see, everybody, I'm driving to Boston today. See? Fuck! Fuck me! Fuck me in my bum hole! Do not use Vaseline, please, because... Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Alright, I saw somebody left me a thumbs up, so if you can hear me, why don't you let me know that too, since you're giving me thumbs. Uh-oh, I hope that's not an accident. I don't have maps on my phone, because I don't have nothing on my phone. <laughs> I wonder what it is, if it is. Going to fucking Quincy, dude. Yeah, kid. Fucking Quincy, dude. Literally, everybody lives in Quincy. Talks like that, you know, in surrounding areas, you know. Uh, I'm a fucking boo. I'm a fucking boo. Yeah. So, I just like talking to myself because, like. It's a hobby of mine. Like, I took it up ever since I got on YouTube. You know, nobody likes me, so what I like to do is go live and talk to myself. It's a little hobby. I'm like, sitting, I'm like, I haven't, I see New York, New York, like, I was going to say, I see no Massachusetts license plates for like 10 minutes. I spy with my big fat eye people that drive like shit. I also spy. There's an accident? Yeah. Fuck! How far up? Uh, okay, Foy? These motherfuckers can't fucking drive, dude! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody that's driving on 90, whatever I'm on. Oh! On 90, whatever I am on, uh, whatever that is south, can you let me know if the accident's bad? I think. <laughs> oh, I'm on 93. That's where I am. <laughs> I just saw the sign. Oh my god. Anybody else a dog? Because, um. <laughs> because, uh, sticks to your face. Well, this is fun. This is fun. This is great. Ten more minutes, I'll be great. I can't sit here very long. I'm wearing an itchy thong. This is my fuck you song. I won't make it very long. Do 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 do. Do you ever notice when you're in traffic? Okay, you're in these two lanes. We're not moving. Those lanes are moving. If we go to those those two lanes, they're not going to move. Mm -hmm. These lanes will move. That. Is traffic right? That's what you call fuck you, Massachusetts. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yes, Queen. 
Yes. Now block two lanes. Yes, girl. Do y'all thing, queen. Fucking idiot. Seriously. Thank you, Beamer, Benz, and Bentley, dickhead. Beamer, Benz, and Bentley. Beamer, Benz, and Bentley. Well, the dogs are boys. I'll show you. But now, hold on. I, I, I They're right being here. good boys. <laughs> but, once me. they smell that water, yeah, the know. ocean, they will no longer be good boys. I can't. I'm going to take my head. I don't know if y'all can hear me. Okay, that's better. All right, so. They're being good boys right now. But once they smell the water, mm -hmm. look at Maxie sniffing. They're not going to be good boys no longer because they know they're almost near their brother's house and where we used to live. Man, I see you being a good boy. I talk to you. God damn it. I am sorry I talked to you. What's your brother doing? Hi, Rudy. Somebody crossed their friggin' car. Somebody said we're not driving far. Somebody said I've had enough. I'm gonna do this for me because, you know, I, listen, I, I get it from you ladies that tell me that I'm just so fat and ugly that I just need filters. So that's just what I'm gonna do from now on forever, you know? But um, driving to visit my child, my human one, because tomorrow's Mother's Day and um, I just want a gift. So I'm just gonna go over there and see if he has gifts for me and then leave. And then um, tomorrow on real Mother's Day, I'm gonna do what mothers really wanna do on Mother's Day and just ignore my fur babies and not answer my kids' phone call and just sleep all day. Cause let's be honest, like that's what us as mothers really want for Mother's Day, right? Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna show up like, where's my fucking gift kid? Hopefully he buys me some dinner and then I'm just gonna go home. But in the meantime, in between time, hey, Brian Clan, I'm going to sit in traffic because, you know, what else are you going to do on a Saturday afternoon, though? Brian Clan, I'm sitting in traffic, baby girl, because, um, Boston. But I got these two, with, I'm riding with my homies. <laughs> They're good. That's so bad. It was an accident, so. Not like an accident, like, oh, I pee my pants sometimes. Like an accident, like, uh, driving like a dickhead, you know, like that kind. I hate traffic too, and I'm so nauseous right now. I chewed two fucking Dramamine already. I have prescription nausea medicine, but you know, you leave it in the house, right? Like, why wouldn't you leave it in the car where you get sick? So it's at the house. I forgot it. So I chewed two Dramamine, and I still feel sick as shit. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. Thank you. They're being good right now, but once they smell the water, like the ocean we were going, game over, bro. Game over. Um, I don't have too much makeup on today, so, you know. Ugh, Brian, look at, Brian Clan, look at this goddamn traffic. Hold on, let me, let me, oh, let me get rid of the bubbles for you. Hold on. Like, gag me! Oh yeah, Brian Clean, you see, you know why nobody really likes me on YouTube. Um, they like me when I make fun of women and pull them down and talk, you know, I don't do that shit, but you talk about children and fight all day. Like that, they all run in, you know, that's when they run in. But if you just want to chat, say hello, see how everybody's doing, show around where I live, you know, they, they don't want that. You know, they want to beef, they want to fight, they want to spend hours on a panel. Oh God, Brian Clan, quit your job. I think you should just quit your job, get an RV, put a Brian Clan logo on the back, and just beg for donos. That's what I would do if this was my daily commute. <laughs> she said that's her commute every day. No way. What do you mean, oh God, you used to do it. Oh uh, yeah, I remember. Be my bins and bunny. It was a nightmare. You know what I'm saying though, Brian Clan? Like, I'm pretty sure I'm not like this mean, wicked bitch, right? And they all want to have fun again, and they all want to have fun, and they want to have fun streams, and they want to be fun. Yeah. You know what you people call fun? You know what you call fun? Berating women. Calling their families. Yeah, me too, Brian Clan. And, and they all say, no, we really do like you, Bridget. Do you? Or do you? I don't see none of you supporting my channel. This channel and this stuff like this, whatever. But I'm really trying to do a makeup channel, but it's not really makeup wise. It's more of like a place for women to go and chill and hang out and, you know, whatever. Thank you.
I'm glad I can make somebody's day. Do you have a little belly? Because my favorite thing to do is to make bellies jiggle. So if I can make your belly jiggle just a little. I'm happy camper. I think we should just go to fucking Quincy, dude. You want to just fucking pull into Quincy, dude? No. <laughs> he said, nope. I have to remember to switch arms today because let me tell you, I feel like I was lifting about buck fucking 30 yet. My arm's killing me today. Held that, I held my phone with that one fucking arm all day yesterday. Oh, we're coming up on Boston. Oh look, we have a really cool troll. Isn't that so funny? You know, you're so, that's so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm actually doing tarot rereadings, yes. And I see your future. And your future is you're still going to be a loser when you log off YouTube. Why? Because you use people's identities to go troll other people and say stupid things like you left a tampon in too long. I bet you have a stinky cooter. Do you know who likes to talk about stinky cooters? There's a whole group of women. They're in the true crime community. You might want to head over there, okay? And I see a, your grim future of being a troll because you suck at it. Thank you. I don't know why they try to troll me. Like, it's like, what do you... Right? Like, what are you doing? So, yeah. And Brian, they try, right? They try. Hey, fuck them all, JK. Fuck them all, dude. Look at that up there. No, thank you. There's an airplane. We're getting close to Logan Airport if anybody's interested. JK, anything yet? Do we have a little mini JK yet? I was just gonna. Woo! If any of you are high right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, Jay, you didn't tell me that. You had a boy? Thank fucking God, bro. Now you have to only worry about one penis, not fucking millions. That's why I said thank God when I had a son. Hell nah. I had a boy in stock. You ain't getting me with no girls. I know what I put my fucking mother through. And I sure the fuck ain't putting mine, and nobody's putting me through that bullshit. Hell no. Nah. When you have a boy, you have to worry about one penis. You already have to worry about a girl. You have a little daughter, you gotta worry about fucking millions. Hell no. Nah. That's like my sister. Alright, which three of you just fucking farted? Is it you? I'll figure this out. Hold on. Who farted? Who farted in here? Oh God, Brian Clint. My sister has a one-year-old little girl and a four-year-old little girl. The four-year-old's actually 20 and the one-year-old 16, you know? <laughs> so, uh-uh, 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 I'm auntie. I'll give you all the candy you want. You can put all the makeup on you want. You can do whatever you want upstairs, but you go down to mama, that's mama's business. That's mama's problem, auntie's out. Hell no. Nah. All right, so did we find out who fought it? Maxie. Maxie, did you do a poop? Pew! Oh, I get so embarrassed. Yeah, he hates fart. Did a fucking fart, dude. I bet you do, Brian Clan. Shit. Let me tell you something, girl. I'd have more than just gray ears. I'd have no hair. I'd pull it the fuck out. You ain't getting me, teenage girls. Sorry, you guys. I have to crack the window because my dog stink of farts and uh, my brother's breath stinks. And I'm getting nauseous from driving, so. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't want to be mean, so I'm just telling them. If I told you, that'd be rude. Oh, okay. Come on, you I, don't even. I appreciate your courtesy. Uh, you should be thanking me for being so fucking nice about it. <laughs> you know, if I turned to you and was like, dude, I gotta roll the window down. Your breath stinks like you were eating raw fucking ass, right? You'd be like, that's so fucking rude to say. So instead, I turn to my phone and say, sorry, guys. You know, very politely, I have to keep my window down because my brother's resting. That's nice. That's polite. That's what you say. Oh, guys, you're going to hear a fucking symphony of dog crying right now because we hit the area where they smell the ocean where we used to live, okay? Oh, boy. There's Boston down yonder. Hold on, hold on. Here it is. I'm going to zoom in. 
There's Boston, far away. You're so far away. So far away from Barcelona. Jack and Maxie, you guys play the instruments and I'm gonna sing, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Look at this dog. I cannot. Max, please don't porn bomb me with your dog penis. <laughs> So if you guys know anything about being a mass ass, um, Michelle was trying to text you back and tell you I was lying. I couldn't do it. There is the famous colored water tower. There's a JFK library. There it is. That's a famous water tower. That is Boston straight ahead. So we're going to be going through there. And there is the water that the boys smell. So here's the thing. We used to live on the other side of this water. So this side is like Boston or whatever. The other side is where I grew up and lived. They can actually fucking smell that will go into there. It's not insane. Oh, I forgot Deb has a car. We can go places today, like when you're not there. Hi, queen. Yes, queen. Hey, queen. How's the little baby doing? Look at these two. Where are we going, Maxie? There's Boston. I'm saving the bear. Yeah. Maxie. Where are we, Bubba? Take your screenshots if you want to make paintings. There's fucking Boston. There's the Prudential Center right there. There's another big building I don't know what. And there's another big building if I don't know what. Yes, Michelle, I am going to see Dev. Um, he was planning on driving down to me tomorrow, but I just, I don't know. We're in fucking Southie, kid. We're in fucking Southie, dude. There's fucking Southie Beach, kid. I live in fucking South Mass, in fucking Southie, dude. What is it, Queen? So, yeah, what are you guys doing tomorrow? Anything good? What are your moms doing tomorrow? Hit me up. Listen, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to do what my, my, what, as a mom what I want to fucking do. Tell my son to stay the fuck home. Just give me my gifts today, okay? Give me my gifts. I'm going home and I'm fucking resting and sleeping all day tomorrow. Like that's like let's fathers, fathers, listen to me, daddies. That's what we fucking want. We want to be left alone. Oh, look, this is the called The Beat. It's a newspaper for Boston. And this is the building, the old Boston Globe building. Oh my God, dude. We should fucking take them by fucking Fenway Park, kid. Oh no, that's it. That's all you can do. That's all right. I check out about. Look at that on the side. Fuck y'all. Look, I'm talking shit. Get stuck in the tunnel. So here's Boston. It's over there. And up here. This is the part we're gonna drive to. Dude, we should fucking take my fucking friends to fucking Fenway fucking Park, dude. It's not in the fucking shoe by there, kid. You guys wanna fucking see fucking Fenway fucking Park, dude? What are you guys doing? Anything tomorrow? Brian Clem, what are you doing besides dealing with two girls? Like, two teenage girls. No, thank you. Look at how cool the architecture of this building is. Isn't that dope? Yeah, that's better. I really like that. Look at that architecture. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yes, Queen. Well, here's the thing. My son works full-time all week, and he just picked up doing, like, DoorDash. So, I figured if... I see I'll drive up today, get to Sam, get my fucking gift, you better have. And then he could work tomorrow instead, because I think he'll do more better like money wise tomorrow. You know what I mean? I don't want him to take a whole day away just to come visit me because I live pretty far. Goddamn goddamn queen goddamn 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 You know? Oh my god dude, it's fucking it's fucking South Bacon. It's the fucking Quincy fucking mall dude. Nah, fucking Quincy fucking mall, dude. I bet they fucking sell 70 inch fucking TVs in there, dude. Aww. There you go, Michelle. I really hope so. You deserve it. Alright, so here we go. This is Boston. We're going to Logan Airport, guys. We're gonna be. We're gonna. Sir! I, I knew you were going to do that. You're a dick <laughs> blocking my Boston view with your big truck because your dick's small. Get out of the way! Oh, uh, come on. Alright, so this is what you're going to see at Boston because we're going under. 
but you can see hair planes. You guys like hair planes? Anybody like hair planes? Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, you fucking yawning and you had G Fuel. You are a fucking tough guy. Alright, so there's some of Boston over there. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm focused. Yeah, you're focused, alright. Are you guys ready? Queen, I was just saying. There's Boston, everybody. It's fucking beautiful. I want to take you guys to um, Faneuil Hall another day. I was just saying, my sister's baby is the one year old. Is 16 and the four year old just turned 23. She's a grown fucking woman. Oh, yes, her pretend friend. She has, I said, she's like, be Angel's mom. I'm like, who the f I? I'll get caustic because this is what I gotta deal with. Um, she's like, be Angel's mom. And I'm like, who the fuck to my sister? I'm like, who's Angel? She's like, oh, that's her pretend friend. Oh, great. So I gave birth to a pretend fucking kid now. <laughs> I gave birth to a fucking pretend kid. I named her Angel. Okay, and now I gotta fucking pick her up and bring her to school. That's what I had to do. <laughs> I had to bring her up, bring, pick her to school, bring her home. And my, my, my niece comes walking in the door with these fake little papers because she gets papers at school when she's bad. She had three fucking papers, told me my kid was bad. Like, first of all, I didn't even get to fucking raise her. So if she's bad, that's not my problem. She's fresh. That's probably her father's fault because I didn't even know I had her. <laughs> you know? Then my niece is like, no, auntie. She was so bad. But I was an auntie. I was Angel's mom, okay? And then I had to drive her to her friend's house, right? So I drive her to her friend's house, and I don't know if she's out of the car or not, right? Because I can't fucking see her! <laughs> I pretend drove off and I got yelled at. You forgot Angel! How the fuck do I know if she's in the car or not, right? <laughs> it was too much to deal with. I told her, I gotta go upstairs. Auntie's fucking done. Hello, my love. I said, I gotta go. I, 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 I can't do this. I can't see as it is. Then I gotta worry about this pretend, pretend friend of mine over here gave birth to somebody and I don't know who she is. I didn't fucking raise her. She's a bad kid at school. I drive off and leave her places. I'm a fucking bad mom to my pretend kid. Somebody on YouTube's gonna call CPS on me. Imagine CPS shown at my house. Hi, yes, we're here for um your daughter, Angel. Well, if you can fucking find her, you can fucking keep her. How's that? <laughs> like, that's what I'd say. Oh, look at all those things. Those things all take pictures to charge us to come through fucking Boston. What is it? Three seventy-five every time. Three dollars and seventy-five cents every time you go through the tunnel. Listen, if y'all are fucking interested, I can start doing fucking story. One, okay? I'm holding the little one. She's drinking. Missy says hello. hello. The one in Canada with Joe with husband. Oh. Oh, see, she he knows, baby girl. He knows. Um, so. She's drinking my drink and whatever. And I say to my sister, I'm like, um, she feels warm. Okay. My sister's like, yeah, she's not feeling good. Okay, you don't fucking tell me that before I'm sharing my fucking drink with her. Then the baby looks at me, opens her eyes real wide, and pukes on me. I said, I gotta go. I'm getting vomited on. This fucking daughter of mine is acting a fool in public and I can't even find her to take her home. I gotta go. I was embarrassed. She got, so the ending was, she was so fresh in that school, my, my niece said, that she got kicked out of school. My pretend <laughs> daughter got fucking expelled from preschool. I mean, let's be honest though, if I had a daughter, that's probably a true scenario. You know, leaving her places, driving off. No valide, and the, she, the, the whole house is sick. The whole, listen, my father, so it started with Diana and Nova were sick because they go to preschool, so they're fucking germ carrying little shits. Um, and then my sister's husband's sick. Look at the bottom of that car. Woo woo, poor ass, too fat, woo woo, reminded me of the 90s. Then my sister's sick. Then I, my brother's really sick, my other brother, so I said, to my dad, my dad's down there. I'm like, dad, you're gonna get sick. Oh no, I'm good, I got a great immune. <gasps> Next day, he's fucking sick. You guys wanna see here, please? He's got a great immune system. He's got a, literally couldn't finish the <laughs> sentence. All right, I gotta roll down the window though. If I Chat me then, DM your new phone. Are we ready to see some airplanes? This is Logan Airport. Ready, set, go. Well, you can't see nothing yet. This is home. There's a airplane. This is where they park them. All right, we're going up. We'll see something. I can go to a place too where you can um, the airplanes like fly over you. But there's Logan Airport. See an airplane over there? This 
is parking for Logan. Nancy, I didn't see Nancy. Is Nancy in here? Mama Nancy, where are you? Where's Nancy? Missy, who are you talking to? Nancy! Thank you, sweetheart. Happy Mother's Day to you as well. I was going to text you tomorrow, but happy Mother's Day. Yeah, so that's Logan Airport, y'all. And this is um, oil tankers. These are so safe to live near. What? He was flying. He should put on his fuck. Oh, there's the train. Look it. Yay. Yeah, I used to feel so safe living around these giant oil tankers all the time, especially 9-11, you know. You know, 9-11 between the oil tankers and the airport being in my backyard, I felt, felt super fucking... Who is Jenna? Missy, who are these people? Hi, Jenna. Did you? Well, you're going the wrong way. And if you're heading south, you're going to hit some traffic, bitch. What were we on with that bad traffic heading that way? South, 95, 93, one of the, one of the 90s, you know, one of the 90s. <laughs> Drive safe, Jenna. It's not, it's, uh, it's a Saturday. Can you guys hear these two? Watch this. Max, I put the camera on you and you're fucking sexually assaulting your brother's asshole. I got gotcha, you and now everybody saw it. Get, leave him alone. Don't be mad at me because I caught you licking his butt. Now he's mad at me. What are y'all doing for Mummy's Day? Well, what I'm doing, you know, since you all asked me, is um, I'm leaving these two somewhere. Well, this one is going to be dropped off somewhere. I don't know where. Somewhere. And this one's going to spend the whole day with Mom because I love him. I might even leave him with the other one. Hey, drama. Jenna. Let's come in. I see you coming in. Oh, guys, also, I know you're going to be all so excited. I'm going to be monetized soon because fuck it. Um, because I'm not monetized nor make YouTube any money, they do not care for me nor push my videos out. But you guys are going to laugh. Do you believe I don't have enough watch hours yet? <laughs> I need like three watch hours to get it. Three watch hours. Because they expire. Stop. So... I'm going to do that. I'm going to monetize. I'm going to get a super chat button. I'm going to do it up. Fuck it. Lick it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care anymore. Like, whatever. You guys know I, I'm not rich. Super chats, PayPal's, and cash apps absolutely help me out. And uh, let's be honest. Sometimes I even share them with people more in need than me. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, hold on. I want to show you guys this. One second. Look at it. Look at that thing. Isn't that cool? It's like a wind thing. Look at that. It's architecture. Helen. Hello, Helen. Helen, don't make a scene in here. Um, Missy's already been barred from here twice from doing that. You know, the look at me, look at me, look at me. I don't put up with that fucking nonsense in my chat room. I, I'm saying hello to you now, okay? I wasn't reading chat, Helen. I was worrying about my children in the car. You know, I worry about my children in the car. You might not do that, Helen, but I do, you know? Plus, I also have a, um, I told you, I have an imaginary daughter named Angel, who is, uh, I don't know where she is today. She's out being a badass child, like a baby's kid. Um, so if anybody on here wants to call CPS on my imaginary child, please do so. Fuck it. I don't care. Okay. Helen, are you happy now? Are we sufficiently acquainted? Are we? Alright, so I'm in a place called East Boston now. You see how dirty it is? Yeah, Queen, I wouldn't get money for views at all. It would be more of the super chat. Do you know what I mean? Um, and there ain't no fucking, remember that movie drama? Fucking baby's kids. Um, it would be more of like help through Super Chat or whatever. Hell yeah, drama. That's where I'm from, baby girl. Born and raised. Our boy. Listen, I don't know. I'm so confused. I just know somebody named Jody. And I didn't know your name was Jody when you commented Jody, my neighbor, on my channel. And I don't know what you were talking about. Then I'm still talking yesterday, like, to some lady and somebody named says, I'm Chris. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry. Jody. 
If Chris, your, your, your husband, there's more oil tanks over there. It was great growing up over here. Wonderful. Scary. All right, everybody pay attention to the mass ass fucking drivers. Because that's a good time, you know? Sorry, y'all. Making you nauseous with me. Oh, my God. Look what I got to drink. I haven't had this in so long. All right. Okay. I gotcha. No, uh, Franklin. No, no, no. I won't go that far. I gotcha. Awesome. All right. Now I know. I'm sorry. I always come into your live streams, and you're always just fucking leaving. <laughs> Do you guys like this stuff? Oh, thank you. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, look where he's sitting. Yeah. Okay? Look at this. Maxi, we need to work on something, bro. Like, this isn't working for me, okay? I can't sit pushed up the whole goddamn time the rest of the way. I mean, we're almost there. Hi, Alex. Thank you. Especially what she's doing now. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Oh, I had the pop filter on. with like, shit. Hold on. Let me fix myself. Okay, now I can show myself because I'm shit. Hi, everybody. Moms have a great Mother's Day for real, for real. Happy Mommy's Day. Um, I'll probably post some videos with my son later. I've showed him before. There ain't no shame in showing him. He's a grown ass fucking man. He's 23. So, if I want to show him, I'll show him. Fuck it all. Fuck them all. All right, I'm going to drive you guys with me. Look where he's sitting. Look at Jay. Jay. Ooh. Yeah, just blow it. Fuck it. That's what red lights are for to blow. Look at Jack. He's all. See him? They smell home. Because this is where he grew up. This is where Jack grew up his whole life, right? So when we get around this area, look at him. He knows it. Isn't that fucking insane? Look at him. You guys hear the symphony? All right, let's ride. Let's ride with me. Enough of me. You know, enough of me. I'm just fucking done. But yeah, no, Brian Clint. I don't want to do memberships, nothing like that. I mean, anything I do, it's going to be out here. Yep, Helen, my plans for tomorrow is to get some bomb fucking food. Uh, lock Maxie in uh, either downstairs or my brother in another room. Um, and lay there all day with Jack. That's, you know, that's my plan. That's that's my... Uh, dun dun. That's my plan for tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to stick to it this time. I usually don't stick to plans, but this one I think I will. Oh, Maxie, people don't want to hear you singing. Woo, woo. So I tried to do. Well, let me say that again. Uh, family in Maverick Square, Chelsea Abbott. Yep. Maverick Square's down the other one. I'm at um. What is this called? Oh my God. Uh, what island? Nope. Oh my God. Orient Heights. Jesus Orient Christ. Uh, I'm at Orient Heights. Uh, drama. My brother's heading over to. Uh, that's why it's so close. My brother's heading over to Medford for the day. Medford, Everett, that place. He's dropping me off with my son over here. Oh, shit. I was supposed to text Devin when I was coming through the tunnel. <laughs> That's all right. I know, Queen, but here's what I do, sweetheart. I docked myself off the rip, right? Some bitch is not going to hold that over my fucking head Jesus. and try to threaten me. I mean, red wow. means go. Wow, that was... Tell him really quick. Um, huh? Want to call him real quick if you can? Um, you're not holding that over me. You know what I mean? Um, I just fucking docked myself off the rip. And whatever. Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to visit me? I like fucking edible arrangements. I like dominoes. Just pay for it first. Um, you've already done police to my house, so now they're aware, so that won't happen again. So what are you going to do? You know, like, what are you going to do? Oh, the flower lady. Hey. Yeah. Hello? Oh, my God. Listen to this. Yeah, we're passing on CBS now. Let me see. Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to call you when we went through the tunnel. But if, you, if you're if you taking a while, it's all right. We can wait. We're going to stop by the park. I'm in Revere right now. I have to drop off. Uh, that's all right. Take your time because we're going to stop at the park with the boys. Okay. All right. Love you. Love you too, bye. bye, sweetheart. All right. So there you go. Guys, look at how, look how dope. Look at this. This is what's crazy. Where I live now looks just like where I used to live, right? <laughs> so weird. Let me see what drama is. 
That's it. That's it, drama. Like, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Missy's already gone. I'll tell him when he comes when I go see him. He's, on, he's coming to see Mama soon. These trees are so gorgeous. I love these trees. But. <laughs> I'll be 42 next. Oh, God. Next month. I'll be 42. And let me tell you, motherfuckers, for the past, like, what? Three years I've been saying I'll have a birthday stream and I never do it. I'm fucking doing it this year. I might even get shitty Liddy and I don't know what else might come with it. Show a titty? I don't care. Like, I'm fucking doing it. Like, I fucking say it. All right, Maxie, listen. Get in the back. I can't be pushed forward, baby. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Woohoo, Sky. There you go. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I was more fucking worried when I turned, um... When I turned, um, my 40th birthday, we were Chuck E. Cheese, right? Yep. You guys, all the time. All right, so this is my street where I grew up and where I just sold my house four years ago and moved. This is the street. I'll show you guys my house. And this is this is the house I sold. Let's watch out because I'm going to run across. Mm -hmm. um, four years ago. So this house here is the one I grew I grew up in. I had my family in, my grandma, my nana lived, and then we sold it four years ago. It's the brick one right here. That's my house. That's my tree there. That tree right there is actually two trees I put together and planted. And then I planted all these trees out front, and there's my house. It's huge. Go ahead. It's um, two floors, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a basement, a pool in the back, um, a deck. A grill it was awesome it was too big though so thank you so but so my nana my grandmother passed away it was just me and my son left living there because I, I was I had my separated my husband at that time so I just I do miss it Missy I miss I miss what it was not what it is do you know what I mean I miss what it was not what it is oh it's so fun opening that pool every year sky let me tell you these fucking trees are gorgeous um, but when my Nana passed away and it was just me and Devin, it was too much money. That's when actually when I got sick. Um, so I couldn't, I'd be honest, I couldn't afford it anymore. This, this area right here is very expensive. My son pays almost $3,000 a month for a two fucking bedroom apartment. Almost 3000 let me say that again. Almost $3,000 a month for a two bedroom. Oh my God, you guys hear the airplanes? And then... And then look, when you go right down the street, there's this big, huge park. This is Jack's park. <laughs> because since he was a baby, this is where I would bring him. Queen, if I'm going to add an age, baby girl, don't you think I'm going to go next down? Well, drama, that's the reason. Look at That's the reason I am where I am. I went all the way down south like that because I save over a fucking grand a month on rent because I have a two bedroom. That's why I moved. That's why I headed south so far because I can't do it. You guys know I'm out of work. Um, so here's the thing. Everybody's like, why don't you get disability? Why don't you get this? Why don't you get that? I will. But here's the thing. When you're the one that works so hard your whole life and you're the one that takes care of everybody all the time, when you get sick and hit like I did, you know, like, oh, you have a brain tumor, by the way, and uh, fibro and lupus, and you can't work. It's like, uh, uh, right? So I couldn't work anymore. And they were offering you all these things that'll help you heal and get better than you're supposed to think. So the whole time I'm like, well, why fight for disability? Why fight for unemployment? Why fight for this? By the time I get it, I'll be back to work. So what? I did that for three fucking years. I finally convinced myself to understand that I cannot work, okay? I just, I cannot work. It's not that I don't want to work. I fucking hate not working. I'm going to cry. Here we go. But I hate what? I hate it. Look at this. I hate not working. I want to work. But um, here's the thing. I can't, right? So I finally convinced myself. Then fucking COVID hit. <laughs> COVID hits. So look at him. Look at him. So I'm going to, um, you know, st restart the process again and all that. But, you know, it's hard though, Missy. Like, I used to be the breadwinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really was. Um, I took care of everybody. I took care of my both my grandparents for over 10 years. I took care of my grandmother for 10 years. I took care of my grandfather. They both need 24-hour care. 
I worked a full-time job. Look at all those daffodil things. Look at all them. I gotta come back later. Look at over there. Oh yeah. Look at all the way down. Look at Jack. You see Jack's eating those, you guys? I told you. The daffodil things. Where is he? Look at him. Um, I would love to work. I fucking hate not working. So when my husband, when I had my husband go, I just had him leave and I had nothing. What I did was I went and started my own fucking cleaning business. Um, I was putting ads online. I was putting ads on Facebook. I was putting ads on um, Craigslist. I was doing good. Like I had a business going, especially when the college students in Boston were moving in and out. I would make a fucking bank. You know what I mean? Um... And here's the thing too, so when I sold, when we sold the family house, my granddad bought that in like, I don't even know man, for like $10,000, okay? <laughs> that's how long they had it in the family. And that's why I wanted to make sure that both of my grandparents were never in a nursing home and passed away in the house that they worked so hard for. So when they both passed away and I'm stuck with this big ass house, what I did is I sold the house, but I split the money between all the grandchildren Instead of me just taking it myself, even though I did most of the work with taking care of my grandparents, I didn't want to do that because I know what my grandfather wanted, and I didn't want to be that person because, listen, I totally believe in karma. I totally believe in karma. I do. Jenny, hi, my darling. How are you doing today? I was going to text you. I know, Missy. I know. You know? And here's the thing. The people that are usually at the doctors and I'm so sick and woe is me and begging for money and doing all this shit there's nothing fucking wrong with them because if y'all really sick you stay away from the fucking doctor because every time you go there you get more bad news fuck that <laughs> look at Jack enjoying Jack are you at Ninja Park? look at him sniffing 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 thank you Missy it's not easy it's not right and I've lost everybody I've lost people that you watch them die. I've lost people that I had to make the choice to shut the machines off because I was a healthcare proxy. I've lost people where they've just passed, just died. I've lost people where I found them fucking two days later. I've been through it all, right? You know what I mean? Queen, that's hard. That's not easy. Um, but I'm still, I'm still, listen, I have two fucking, you have two choices. You either feel bad for yourself Try to make others feel bad for you and live your life as woe is me, getting nowhere, doing nothing. What's going to happen to you is you're going to slowly fade away into nothing. You get one life. You get one. One. Michelle, you absolutely do have to. You get one, one life. One. So what do I do instead? I get up every day. I force myself up. I drag myself literally to the makeup room, put some makeup on, get myself ready. Um, I can't get out and walk like I'm here at the park. I can't get out and walk around it, but I can still go out, enjoy it, get the breeze, watch the, my babies play. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Or I could just just sat home today. Thank you, drama. I don't have um, I don't have Twitter. I don't have uh, I don't have Twitter because listen, that's how I stay fucking calm on here. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. As long as I'm off Twitter, I'm calm. I'm not yelling on panels and screaming. <laughs> Cause you get yourself in some fucking trouble over there. You know what I do on my worst days? When I'm on my worst days and I do start to feel bad for myself, I stop and say, there is somebody right now out there taking their last fucking breath. There is somebody out there right now, hopefully surrounded by family, knowing that they're never going to be able to see them, hold them, watch them, grow, nothing, ever again, last breath, done. I'm, I'm doing great. You understand? I don't have money. I don't have fancy things. I don't have a, you know, I don't have a great job and a big home. And a, I don't. I don't have a huge family anymore. But the family I have is amazing. And we love each other. And we, we build each other up. And we hold each other up. And, you know, I get donations here and there. And I'm very thankful 
But let me make it clear, if I know somebody that's in more need than me, I'll take my last dollar out of my Cash App or PayPal and I will give it to them. I do. If I have food on my table, my lights are on, gas in my tank, I don't need it. Thank you, Drama. I really appreciate it. That's right, Jenny. That's absolutely it. Thank you, Sky. Sure do. Oh, my God. Ice cream! Baby Carl, if he takes a fucking left, you're stopping him. There's an ice cream man coming. I might have to go. Do ice cream man take debit cards? Because who the fuck carries cash anymore? Do you guys hear the ice cream man? I'm literally having an anxiety attack. Do you guys hear him? I'm having an anxiety attack to hear the ice cream man. Jenny, can you actually share my my links in here anymore? You don't have to share them, but I don't know if you're allowed to. Sir, you drove too fast. How do you expect us to catch you? Unbelievable. I can't run. Like, my brother's out there with the dogs. I would have jumped in the driving street and caught this motherfucker. No, where I live around here, there's ice cream places that are bomb. There's these little Italian places that are bomb. So, I will be full when I leave here. Jenny, can you see if you can share those links? I don't know if you can anymore. Because I can't find a way to share them in my videos. Like, the Cash App and PayPal, I can't find a way to share those anymore in my videos. Did you guys ever drink these? What's a dicky D? What's a dicky D? Never heard of it. Can't relate. Gelati. Gelato? Gelato? Gelati? Who's gelati? I'm so fucking worried. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't think any. Uh oh. Michelle. Michelle is, um. <laughs> Michelle's booby. Sorry, Queen. Michelle is booby uh, moderating. <laughs> the Cash App you can do. I wonder about the PayPal. I want to see if it shows up. I don't think you can do it anymore, right? Motherfuckers. That's what's making me gonna be have to get monetized, too. Listen, I'm not a begging bitch, but if you want to send, I need it, I'll take it. Like I said, I have no shame in my game. That, I know, honey. I know it was. That's all right. Don't worry. Michelle, I knew it before you even said it, baby. <laughs> I was like, Michelle's, um, booby moderating. I do it all the time. Right, though? Because I'm always sticking my phone in my bra. One time, I, Mike, one time I went to a stream, and I knocked out about seven people. With one nipple. Seven people with one nipple. Can you imagine? Like, that's a champion move. I moderated seven people with one nipple. I mean, can you see you fucking done that? Can you? I want to show you guys this little market that's here. Like, it's a small... That's a nice bureau for free! Turn around and get the bureau! Listen, these motherfuckers are rich around here. They throw away brand new shit because they wanted something new. I will fucking take that shit. My whole house is all somebody else's trash. And it's my fucking treasure. My couches, my kitchen table, my TVs, my nightstands, all my bureaus. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but it was when I was living here, right? Because they do. These people are fucking rich. They don't care. They want a new bed, they're going to throw the other one away. They want a new yes. bureau, they're going to throw it away. I just won't take somebody else's used bed. I'm so afraid of fucking bed bugs. Mmm. Mmm. This guy. Whoop! Whoop! Yikes! It's, my brother looks so Irish. I think it's on, it's on a video like, I don't know, Missy. Seven videos ago? I don't know. I haven't been posting them. I don't know how to post them anymore. <laughs> my I look Portuguese and beautiful queen. No, I'm just kidding. And then he's just an Irishman. Top of the morning to you. Can you see it? 
double. I've been wondering where you are. Like, I've been lying for almost an hour. Where have you been? No, Michelle, nowhere near Kingston. I'm like 10 minutes away from Boston. Um, do you guys know Revere Beach? It's the first public beach in the United States. Anybody? It's called Revere Beach. Of course, double shot. You're always, always showing me support. Oh, well, excuse hey, me, you know. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. I gotta go. Ooh, I gotta go. Someone's... <laughs> Someone's trying to break forward. Look at this. Hi, tough guy. Oh, hold on. This little market. See this little market here? It's so cute. I love it. It had everything you needed. And then, of course, we got 7-Eleven and across the street, Cumberland Farms and then a Gulf. Like, no matter where you live, you have to have at least five or six stores in a row. Okay? At least. Okay, slow down a little bit. So if you go up this road right here, my mother's great. Everybody's buried up there right up there right right up that road is where all the graves are my mother my uncle my grandmother my aunts everybody's buried there okay and when you go over this hill i'm at my son's house i don't like that he lives so close to that but he likes he lives that close to that because he's always over there decorating it fixing it making it nice you know what are you gonna do all right everybody i'm at my I really do. Again, if you'd like to catch a PayPal tip the entertainment, please feel free to do so. It's appreciated. This little restaurant right here is so good, I'll tell you. But yeah, I am uh, at my son's house in two seconds. So, this is why little princess likes to visit my son all the time. Watch this. I'll show you. That's his back. That's my son's backyard right there. <laughs> that's his backyard. So that's why Diana loves so much to visit him. So we yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my son's backyard. <laughs> that is on his car. Ooh, take your brakes? Yikes. All right, everybody. So have a great day. Um, I'm sure I'll be on tomorrow at some point, but have a happy Mother's Day. You all deserve it. You're all beautiful, great moms. I know that. Um, don't forget to smile. You never know who's day. You might just brighten it, maybe your own. Say bye. <laughs> say bye, Mike. You guys say bye. Look at the smile. Look at him. Watch this. You want to see Devin? We Devin. Oh, there he is. He's walking. Look at my son walking over there. I wonder why he's coming that way. Oh, maybe he parks over there. You guys want to see my baby a little? Hold on. He's going to be walking over. I get a little sneak peek of my baby. Handsome mother, look at him. There he is. There's my son. Look at my baby. Look at this handsome. Come on, bro. He's fucking handsome. Look at him. Tell me that kid ain't fucking handsome, dude. Tell me that kid ain't fucking handsome, kid. That, that's me. I made that. I did that all yeah. on my own. <laughs> Oh, look at those kids. Yeah. Woo woo! All right. So have a great day, everybody, for real. Thank you so much for everything and your support. Um, you guys haven't voted yet if you want to be called Bras or Jockstrap, so we're going to have to get on that. And uh, that's right. He is my, my little twin. All right. Bye, everybody. Peace.